What is up guys, Casey here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a search bar so you can search through data in a table view. And um, thanks to you guys, I finally decided to make this video. If you guys have any suggestions on videos, please leave that in the comment section below. It helps me out, know what you guys want, and then I can make stuff like this video. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. I appreciate all of you guys' support. In this video, um, I'm not going to be showing you guys how to set up a table view, just the search bar. So if you need to know how, I'll provide it in the source code. You can just uh, look at it and make one. But um, so here on the storyboard, I added uh, the search bar, just this search bar right here, and just clicked and dragged it up here. And let's head back over to our view controller. We need to add, um, a, we need to extend from our UI search bar delegate, and we need to create an IB outlet for our search bar. At IB outlet, we bar search bar. That's when we have the UI search bar. All right, and then in here, we need to create a variable uh, for when a, a user is searching. So let's say var is searching. That's gonna equal false. Okay, and then down here, we need to say search bar dot delegate equals self. And then search bar dot return key type equals UI return key type dot done. All right, perfect. And um, now in the number of rows in section, um, if we're in search mode, so if is searching, if is searching, then we're gonna want to say return um, filter data, which is the, so we have our data that's in the table view and then we have our filter data which will be uh, what is searched through. Okay, so return filtered data dot count. And then down here in uh, self row index path, if is searching, we're just going to say text equals filtered data index path dot row. Okay, perfect. And else, and then just copy this code, or paste it in there, nice, nice, save that, and um, after that we need to add search bar, right there, um, so text did change, just search text did change, and this should pop up, we're going to say if, if search bar, oh, if search bar dot text is equal to nil or if search bar dot text is equal to empty we uh, want to say is searching equals false oh, let me clean up my code here and then right here we're going to say view dot end editing set that to true okay and then uh, table view dot reload data. Um, otherwise, let's just um, say in search, uh, let's say is searching equals true, and then view, and then we're gonna say filter data equals data dot filter, and then we're gonna put in here, the money symbol zero is equal to text. There we go. And then we're just gonna say table view dot reload data. Perfect. So this should work. Oh, um, this is going to be search bar dot text. And let's run that. In our main dot storyboard, we need to link up the search bar right here to our search bar. And that is good. Now, if you guys ever see a yellow caution sign right here, um, that means you're having an error. Just uh, click X and then reconnect the outlet and then you shouldn't have any more errors. That's a common uh, error. I mean, I, I've done it many times. You just have to be aware of it, so in case it ever happens to you, you can fix it. All right, so here's our table view. 
right? You got dogs, cats, goose, apples, frogs, oranges, or orange. And if you tap in the search bar, and now we want to search cats, right? Boom, cats pops up. Now, if we want to search dogs, boom, dogs pops up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave that in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button. And please leave a big thumbs up. Thank you guys. Have a good one.